Welcome back. In this video, we'll be covering how to enroll or re-enroll students. New and current families enroll and re-enroll their students via different channels, respectively. Prospective families will need to create a temporary registration account through the new enrollment registration portal to enroll their students. This prevents prospective families from having access to Gradelink before the school formally accepts the student's application and does not give them access to Gradelink if the student's application is rejected. This link can be put on your school's website as well as distributed individually to prospective families. To obtain this link, go to the Settings tab on the left sidebar, click on the Marketing tab at the top of the page, and copy the hyperlink located in the Enroll Me URL for New Families box. When a prospective family is ready to enroll their student and create a registration account, they will need to create the account with a valid email address and then create a password, which they will enter twice before clicking the register button. The family will then receive a confirmation email at the address they use to create the registration account. They will then click the blue confirmation button in the email which takes them back to the new enrollment registration page, where they will then need to enter the password they use to create the account. Finally, they will click the continue button. They will then get a message saying their account has been activated. To proceed with enrolling their student, they will then need to click the continue button, then enter in their email address and password to begin filling out the online form. Current families who need to re-enroll their students will do so through the re-enroll tab in the parent portal, where they check their students' grades, assignments, and school news, among other things, throughout the school year. The school can enable the re-enroll tab to show up in the parent portal. Simply go to settings on the left sidebar, deselect a box labeled hide re-enroll tab on parent interface, Click the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page. Families will see the re-enroll tab in their parent portals the next time they log in. Keep in mind that the re-enroll tab will only show up when families use the family login credentials. If they use the student login credentials, the re-enroll tab will not show up. Existing families that have children already in the school can add other children not currently enrolled. Because they are enrolling a new student, they will need to create a temporary registration account for registering the new student as the information for the new student is not yet in Gradelink. This is the same process that prospective families go through when enrolling their children. Keep in mind that the login credentials used to log into their parent portal will not work here. Parents will log into their parent portal using their Gradelink login username and password. They will then click the re-enroll tab on the left sidebar and be able to enroll a new student from the link provided. They will then follow the steps outlined in enrolling a new student. Please note that the new enrollment registration account is separate from Gradelink's parent portal accounts for existing families. This is because not all prospective students enrolled in the school will be accepted into the school. At this point, we've covered everything on the topic of families enrolling students. Please stay tuned to learn how to manage enrollment applications as they are submitted into Enroll Me.